seems relatively non-controversial. Scott Ross, though, is the director of One Wisconsin Now. He opposes these laws, and he joins us. Scott, I don't know if you saw the interview we just did, but it was with a, a self-described progressive on the campus of Evergreen who has been physically threatened because he has a different view. And this kind of thing is happening on a bunch of campuses, and I would think that sincere liberals would be upset about it and would be trying to fix it, but they're not. Why? Well, Tucker, first of all, thank you for having me. And there is any, nobody who should defend violence or threats or disorderly conduct, but I don't think that the bill we're seeing, particularly here in the state of Wisconsin, meets any of those thresholds. What's happening is we have a coordinated effort to try and suppress free speech by government on University of Wisconsin campuses to intimidate students, faculty, and administrators from discussing critically important issues facing the public policy debate. I don't know who writes your talking points. I mean, do you live in this country? Are you watching what's happening on college campuses? I mean, a lot of them, not just Evergreen and Berkeley, but lots of campuses where people stand up and they're like, I disagree, and they're shouted down and people threaten them. That's a real thing. That's not a creation of this show or Fox News or the right. I mean, that's totally real. Why aren't you upset about it? Well, what I think is this, is that we have uh, in the legislation here in the state of Wisconsin uh, a potential solution that is infinitely worse than the alleged problem. You have the hand of government coming in trying to intimidate people from speaking out on campus. Now listen, our college campuses have m multiple jurisdictions of law enforcement. Here in Wisconsin, you've got Capitol Police, you've got City Police, you've got Campus Police. If somebody crosses the line into disorderly conduct, they can be prosecuted and detained by trained law enforcement officials. This bill is not that. This bill is okay. providing some sort what's of your, safe what's space your where what's people your can't have an honest okay. and frank debate I, about really You know, really they can't have issues. them now in case after case. And again, I know that you know people try to dismiss this as something you know that demagogues are ginning up to get right wingers exercise, but that is demonstrably not true. We do this every week. It's totally real. People who can't speak on campus because they have a divergent view from the majority, and I thought the whole point of being liberal was to defend people like that. Where have you been when this is going on? Where, what have you done Listen, to defend free speech? Tucker, I have stood with uh, conservatives and Republicans in fighting for free speech rights here in the state of Wisconsin. That is a certain that is a certainty. But what I would say is this regarding this particular piece of legislation, and I can only speak for Wisconsin, where not one single conservative speaker who has come on campus has been prevented from being able to deliver their mark remarks in full. And so I think that's the thing that we have to remember here, is that once you create that chilling environment where people are afraid to speak out, that's where you don't have the, effort, the opportunity to listen you to know, each it, other, it's to almost like find you're out kidding. what the decision is. Do you have kids in school? Because I've got four of them. You talk to any of them or their friends or anybody who's in college right now, and they're like, look, I don't want to give my opinion because I'm going to be penalized. Anyone who's not in a very specific narrow band of progressive thought is hurt. That's totally, I mean, are you not aware of this? I think that threatening anybody with violence or intimidating them is a terrible thing that should be prosecuted. What I don't like is the government, big government, coming in and writing laws that tell people they can and cannot speak on campus, and that Dude, is what this already, legislation this is, is here in the state this of Wisconsin. This is already government. What do you think UC Berkeley is? No. What do you think Madison is? These are government schools, and the government is doing literally nothing to protect the rights of the minority. And again, this well, ought to be something that you're like waking up mad about every day. Where are liberals? Are there any left? The University of Wisconsin is protecting free speech rights. Every speaker who has come to a University of Wisconsin campus, even provocateurs who have things to say that I would definitely disagree with, have been able to deliver all their remarks, Tucker. It do hasn't you, happened do, here. That's do you the problem. Believe, do you believe that a student in a poli-sci class at the University of Wisconsin-Madison could say to his professor, you know, I'm for Donald Trump and expect that his grade would not be affected by that. Honestly, look at me right in the face and say, yeah, no problem. Absolutely, that's ridiculous. But what I will say is this. Wait, wait, you're we saying got the that records the, you, for the wait, creation wait, of this bill here in the state you, of Wisconsin. Wait, hold on. Are, and what we found you? was is that they had originally wanted oh, the Republican on. Attorney General to be involved in the prosecution uh -huh. and oversight of this, and he flat out refused, and they had to take him off the bill. I don't care if what your Republican, Republican, Republican Attorney, Attorney General, General, General thinks this is a step over the line, then the legislators should think the same thing. I don't care if some Republican disagrees with me. That means nothing to me. Where are the elected officials saying we're taking an absolutist position on the first Amendment. You should not be have your rights abridged as enumerated in the Bill of Rights. The first one is a right to say what you think is true. Where are the politicians standing up for that? I don't see any on the left. Do you? I, I would have to disagree with you strongly on that, Tucker, because, you know, 
by allowing people to have that expression, the government isn't getting in the way of free speech. I mean, once the government comes in and tells you or I what we can and cannot say, that's where we cross the line into oppressing the First Amendment. But that's Only happening. government can that's stop happening. the First Amendment. That's happening right now. I mean, that's happening if Milo Yiannopoulos can't give a speech at UC Berkeley, a government school, then the government is complicit in his First Amendment rights being taken away, no? Well, I would agree that you've given me a handful of examples that have happened around the, around Man, the nation. I've got like a huge, speaker, I mean, I yes. can bore you. My viewers are very familiar with them because we talk about it all the time because we're not a liberal show because we believe in the First Amendment. I, I can't speak to that. I can tell you what goes on in the state of Wisconsin, which is right. we are allowed to speak on campuses. The Republicans want to stop that. And, you know, again, the <laughs> attorney general opposes the idea. And the right, only, whatever. actually the author of the bill himself, one of the Republican state representatives, yeah. was on public radio, was asked about the constitutionality of it, and he said he agreed that there were constitutional problems with this particular okay, piece well, of someone's legislation. Someone's got to stand up for That's why we're trying to stop it here in the state of Wisconsin. It. We do hope right. some of the Republicans will join us in this and, right. and stop Scott, it from happening. Thanks for joining us.